What's up guys, we're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions for another Ruthless Audio Amp Dyno. Today I've got the 2300.1 hooked up. We're gonna see what this thing does. We know it's rated 2300 watts at one ohm. We'll see what it does at four and two ohm also. So if you wanna drop a guess, drop your guesses now. If not, I'll catch you on the dyno and we'll get to it. All right guys, welcome to the JSS Amp Dyno. Today again, it's the Ruthless Audio 2300 monoblock bass amp. Rated 2300 watts at one ohm. Now the booklet I got didn't give any ratings for four or two ohm. I know that he has posted those online since this shipped to me, uh, but I don't have those numbers handy. So we'll just go by what the dyno says it does. So to start out, we're gonna do certified, which is up to 1% distortion or clipping. Then we'll do uncertified, which reads into clipping. And then we'll do dynamic power runs, which are the burst runs at 40 Hertz. So drop your guesses now if you haven't, and we'll get right into this. We're gonna do four ohm first, then we'll do two ohm, then we'll finish with one ohm. And I might hit a few uh, 0.8 ohm runs on this one. So let's get to it. Certified again is up to 1% distortion. The dyno will stop reading when it sees 1% distortion or clipping. And we are at 15.58 volts. I know you guys have been complaining about the voltage. I was asked to run these at a higher voltage. I did bring my bank down just a little bit, but I didn't have enough load on it to get it you know, under 15 for this one. So starting at 15.58 volts, I have no chargers on. Let's let it rip and we'll see what this does. Four ohm certified up to 1% distortion. We got 943 watts dropping to 15.46 volts. And two ohm. Starting at 15.52 volts. Let's see what this thing does at 2 ohm. We got 1,623 watts into 2 ohms, dropping to 15.36 volts. So, pretty good performance here. We'll do 1 ohm. Rated 2300 watts. We're starting at 15.48 volts. Here we go. Looking for 2300 watts. We got 2483 watts into 1 ohm, dropping to 15.21 volts. So above rated power. And we'll try a certified 0.8 run. This again will be up to 1% distortion. We're at 15.48 volts. Here we go. Two thousand seven hundred three watts into point eight ohms, dropping to fifteen point two one volts. We'll move my meter now. We'll move into uncertified testing. Uncertified again will keep reading even with a little bit of clip or distortion present. Again, we're going to start with four ohm runs. Fifteen point five six volts starting. Here we go, four ohms. Got 988 watts into four ohms, dropping to 15.41 volts. So not bad performance at all. Can you continue to two ohms now? And again, I'm just running uh, 40 hertz tracks on this. Two ohms, starting at 15.5 volts. Uncertified into clipping. 
We get 1,737 watts into two ohms. Drops to 15.27 volts. And one ohm. Again, this was rated 2,300 watts at one ohm. We're at 15.46 volts starting. Here we go. Got 2,767 watts into one ohm, dropping to 15.07 volts. So well above rated on that one. And again, we'll go ahead and run 0.8 ohms. We're at 15.45 volts starting. Here we go. Uncertified at 0.8 ohms. We got 3,024 watts into 0.8 ohms, dropping to 15.05 volts. Very solid performance, above rated power. Now we're gonna go into dynamic runs, which are a pulse tone. It's 40 hertz pulse. Again, we're gonna start at four ohms. We're at 15.54 volts. Here we go, burst power on the Ruthless 2300. Looks like that's it. 991 watts into four ohms. We dropped to 15.4 volts. And we'll continue now with two ohms burst. Starting at 15.48 volts, two ohms burst on the 2300 Ruthless. Looks like that might be it. Oh. 1,804 watts into two ohms, dropping to 15.33 volts. And our one ohm dynamic power, starting at 15.44 volts. Again, this is a 2300 watt amp. Looks like that's it, 2,932 watts into one ohm. We drop to 15.17 volts. And we will go ahead and hit 0.8 dynamic. Get on a 2,300 watt amp. Three thousand three hundred fifty-five watts into 0.8 ohms. We dropped to 15.11 volts. So that's all I have for the dyno testing. We'll go ahead and put up the performance review. And I'll catch you guys back on the bench for a better look at the amp. All right, guys, we're back on the bench with the Ruthless 2300. You can get a better look inside of this one. Again, you can see the red board, the Ruthless branded caps. Good looking amp inside. No fan on this one. Looks to be a well-built amp. So we'll take a look at these end caps. A 
On this side, very similar to the bigger amps, you've got Tiffany style RCAs. You've got a left and right input and output, power protect and clip light. You've got your gain knob, subsonic filter from 10 hertz to 50 hertz, plug for your bass remote, low pass filter from 35 to 250 hertz, adjustable phase from zero to 180 degrees. These are strappable as well as the others. You have your master and slave switch and your strappable RCA input and output. And then on this end, even for 2300, we had two watt power and ground. We've got roughly an eight or 10 gauge remote wire and eight or 10 gauge speaker outputs. So that is it for the Ruthless 2300. Oh, I should also note, it did come with the toolkit, a user manual, and the same style knobs as the other Ruthless amps, these aluminum knobs with a power and clip light on them. So that is all I have for the Ruthless Audio 2300. Let me know what you guys think of the amp. Let me know what you guys want to see. I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button be a huge favor for me if you did that and then hit the bell so that you know when i post a new video and then give me a like on this video too thanks guys i'll see you next time